I feel like success really is just happiness, right? Success is striving for that balance and success is finding your passion and being able to pursue it, really. The, the journey to success, like weight loss, it never really, it never really ends. There's no real final, you know, there's no finality to it to me. Um, so it's something that you're always striving for. I grew up in a very health conscious family, right? And I left home when I was about 18 years old to live in Norway for two years. And leaving home for the very first time was very stressful for me, especially living in a very different culture. Um, it was very cold, minus 20 degrees in the middle of nowhere. And I found that the weight packed on and on and on. And so did many different issues like um, emotional eating, um, stress eating, um, I suffered an eating disorder for, for, for a couple of years, something that I, I share very openly um, because I know that there are many people who struggle with the same issues and feel like there is no way out. Rock Bottom was alone and afraid. Um, There's a lot of shame in Rock Bottom. There was a lot of not wanting to look yourself in the mirror, physically and figuratively, to accept where it is that you are, you know, at that point. Um, I know that there were many years of just feeling very ashamed of how I allowed myself to get to that point. And I remember there was one day I had to show up for, you know, a presentation that I was to make to the entire school. And I remember just bursting down in tears. I had tried on maybe four different outfits that I couldn't fit in. And so, Rock bottom was very, very challenging for me. And I think that that particular moment in time, that very day that I had to give a presentation and I, um, I was ready to call, call it off and, and quit, really. And, you know, I just, I looked myself in the mirror and I said, this is not who I am, I'm not a quitter. You know, I faced very many challenges in my life and this is gonna be one of the ones that I overcome. And I slowly but surely crawled out of the hole that I had buried myself in for very many years. That's where it starts really, the mind, you know, making up your mind and knowing that this is it, I'm done. I'm done being at rock bottom. I'm done being depressed and, um, you know, not feeling worthy and not having enough energy, getting sick all the time, um, just not feeling myself, I'm done with that. And it really wasn't until I took the gradual approach, I threw away the fact that I had to lose 65 pounds and having that overwhelm me and I just started taking it step by step. And it's that consistency factor that really, really makes the difference because the truth is when you are consistent with anything, the results are inevitable. You are going to lose the weight. And I think that very journey, you know, people seeing what I had gone through and me sharing it openly with them were very inspired by that. You know, I think it allowed them to have that hope that maybe I could do this too. Maybe I can lose the weight. Maybe I'm not alone in this. And so people reached out to me from all over the world. How did you do it? What did you do? So I would spend hours and hours and hours responding to these questions and sending emails. And I just found that um, I stumbled upon something that um, you know, I, I didn't expect to, but that I really, really enjoyed. Camp Camila is an online health and fitness community, really. Um, with people from all over the world who are ready, um, even just from a mental perspective, to commit to changing their lives. And I support them every day and every week um, with very various materials. So they get workouts, they get nutrition workshops from me um, every week. We do webinars, we have um, a doctor on board in-house um, that does webinars on the different facets of health, right? So remember that health is goes beyond just the physical, but there's emotional health, there's mental health, there's financial health. There are all of these different facets of health that, you know, kind of make up us being healthy. Very many times we get stuck in that when I lose the 15 pounds, when I'm the size four, then I'll love myself. Then I'll buy the things that I love um, to feel beautiful. And we have to love ourselves right now, exactly how we are, exactly, you know, in the state that we are, in order to change, in order to, to make that difference. Because the truth is, that self-deprecation and that self-hate, that overeating, they're all tied in with each other, right? And so when you love yourself, when you are ready to fully embrace who you are right now and accept that, this is not my current reality, but I love me because this weight does not define who I am. 
then then there's a out there's a out and there's a out when you believe that you can do it and so i think that my very journey you know kind of is a representation of hope that you know you can become who you want to be you can achieve happiness you can you know have the best possible version version of yourself you know once you commit and once you love yourself